Hello, everyone. Welcome again to the second day of the Interactive Virtual Craft Fair, Handmade Chelsea Online. Today, we have in this session, Ruby Kai's cast, Tamara Williams and Joey, a fantastic collaboration of both artists and printmakers and textile, textile designer of the Joey. And I'll hand it, hand it over to both of them without giving away any of the secrets. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Piyush. Um, welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to our studio. Um, we'd like to spend the next 15 minutes or so um, sharing our new colour stories with you. Um, some of them are old, some of them are new. We'll talk a little bit about the artworks behind each of the designs um, before we share each of the scarves with you. Um, we work very much um, extensively with uh, gypsum as a print medium. All of the artwork we create is created here in our studio, which is by the River Thames, just outside of London. And as we go through each of our collections, you'll see that there's a very strong nature narrative that runs through everything we do. From the subject matter that we use, from the landscapes and the natural found objects, through to the gypsum as a print medium that I use to create the, the, the artworks, um, through to the natural fabrics that we use for the scarves, and also um, the measures that we are constantly um, looking at uh, to make our products as environmentally considerate as they could possibly be. We'll start by talking about Moreland, which is our newest design, um, and which we're really happy we've been able to get just, for, just in time for, for this fair. Um, Moreland started as a um, mixed media piece on gypsum, which you can see here, it's actually quite small. Um, and when Joy and I uh, find that we like a design and we want to create it over our scarves, we produce what we call art prints. This is one for Moreland. Um, these are a really great way to look at some of the textures, also the colour balance, to see what works, what doesn't work, and how um, each of the scarves can start to look, albeit on particularly the large squares, this is massively uh, magnified uh, with textures that become very abstracted. So following on from the Moreland artwork that Tamara has shown me, I'll just show you the scarves that we've got in that collection. So um, starting off with our large silk square, which is more than a metre why? So it's 1.3 metres, um, really, really versatile because um, the large squares can just be sort of worn as, long, as a long scarf or sort of wrapped around as, um, as squares. So we've got the square and then um, also we've played around with the artwork a little bit to create um, a long version. And on this, these two scarves, we've got a little trim um, in a silk chiffon, just plain, which we feel just really um, gives it, the contrast gives it a nice finish to the scarves. Then also in the long, we've got a, a cashmere blend. Um, so it's 20% um, cashmere and 80% modal. Really, really soft, but quite lightweight and drapey but the cashmere just gives it a lovely warmth and coziness uh, so perfect for this time of year and then finally in this selection you've got a little small square which is great as um, a head round your head or as a neck scarf or uh, some people like to tie them in their handbags etc so that's our Moreland collection the next design we'd like to show you is our tree. Our tree was launched last year for our, um, our first year in business actually, which uh, we, we launched at Chelsea in person last year. So it's a great shame that we can't be with you in person again this year, but this is the next best thing. Um, tree started off as two etching plates, both of which uh, again were cast in plaster on gypsum. This is one of the original tiles, um, and you can see uh, the textures become really interesting, actually. The gypsum adds a really great quality to the, to the finished print. Um, we used each of these over three scarves. So again, we've oh. done really well with the large squares, and this just shows the tree design 
off absolutely fantastically. And again, we've, we've sort of made it a little bit of a signature to have the sort of contrast edging on the silk scarves. Um, then we also got the cashmere where we really blew up the design to sort of have a cross section of the tree rings um, printed onto the cashmere that's just again makes a lovely, lovely uh, cosy scarf and then we've just got a little ribbon edging to make that contrast. Then we also have our silk satin skinnies which are great, they're so versatile because you can wear them as belts or wrapped around your neck or um, in your hair um, they're really, really great. I absolutely love them. And on these, they're double-faced, and also we've got the sort of tapered edges on those, and quite long. And for the Flora colour story, we have two designs. Um, each of these was created originally as a relief print before casting in gypsum. We have the feather, which is based on one of the swan feathers, which I collect um, down by the river. This is swan feather blown up large as one of the art prints, so we can actually have a look at the proof and start to play around with the artworks a bit, which you'll see on the, the finished scarf. And we also have other panthers, my favourite flowers, um, which little, a very, very small piece. And, and one of the things that's quite interesting is that most of our artworks are actually created quite small. Um, and the really exciting thing is when you start to scale those and blow those up, the textures that you didn't even know were there start to appear. Um, there's an art print behind, and this is the Agapanthus on silk. So you can see, you get this amazing sort of texture in the in the ground which is now sort of quite as evident on the um, original artwork. These are all the little inking spots and things which um, come from the roller which again um, at a small size you, you just can't see. And I remember when we first got this sample and I showed it to Tamara she said well, I didn't even know that colour was <laughs> in it. <laughs> it's picked up all sorts of different things. So that's the um, the Agapanthus scarf, and then we have done the feather. And as Tamara said, we had to mess around with it. So to make it a nice sort of, it doesn't matter which way you wear the scarf, we've got this sort of lovely ombre version of the, the lilac and pur purple going through into the green, uh, but sort of the same both ends. And, um, Heather and again, Heather and Sage, sorry. <laughs> And that's on the um, cashmere modal quality. And then we've also done a feather skinny. And you can see we really blew up the, um, the design. So it's we, you wouldn't necessarily think it's a feather immediately when you see it. But just the colours, the lovely soft pastel colours just look so gorgeous together. These feel absolutely wonderful. So again, it's such a shame that we can't, we can't let you feel them, but they, they really are um, very weighty, so they hang incredibly well when you wear them. Very lovely. Um, and the last two colour stories, um, I feel like we're rattling through these really quickly, so please ask questions. <laughs> um, are Seascape and Wildscape, and these have been really popular over the last few months. Um, both of these were taken from very small abstract mixed media paintings, again, which I painted onto gypsum. Um, we created large art prints behind, you can see, so we started to play around with the colours and scale the design and crop into it in different ways. These were actually inspired by some of the coastal landscapes around North Norfolk and um, they're, they're completely stunning actually, um, all along the top around Holcombe. The colours are fantastic and, and the one thing that gypsum actually is very good at doing is giving a very chalky palette to all our colours so I feel like we have a, a signature tonal quality to our work that is very natural as well. So for um, our design wildscape again we've done the, the large square which is just amazing and, and you just get all these incredible texture 
coming out, coming through into it. And, and actually then, see the bubbles. Um, yeah. Because when the plaster bakes, when the gypsum bakes, it creates little air pockets within each piece. And when you blow it up really large, you actually get a little, little bubbles bubble small. Yeah, yeah. And just on the silk, the colours are just so vibrant and gorgeous and really pick up the, you know, the absolute true colours of the original artwork. Then a little small neck neck uh, scarf as well. And these are all, these ones are hand rolled edges um, and the hemming. A great head scarf as well. Yeah. And then lovely long silk scarf, again with hand rolled edges on the hem. And in the long, we've done the cashmere blend. Oh, and the thing that yeah. actually, because it's, I think, I don't know if you can see them through it. <laughs> they really are so sheer and fine and they feel wonderful. They're really soft. And one of the things um, about all our designs as well, which, uh, I mean, we want to sort of be quite eco-friendly, but we feel all our, de our designs are sort of quite seasonless fashion, so they can be worn in winter or spring. So like the ones with bright colours, they're, they're really cheerful at this time of year, and yet they can sit equally well on a lovely, over a lovely dress or a blouse, in a t-shirt in the, in the summer. And that's the um, the lovely skinny scarf. So you get all this range of colours. Um, just looks really great, sort of tying mm -hmm. out. And you can do a little bow or yeah. Lots. You're great at that. You show your ideas <laughs> for tying <time> scarves. <laughs> but that actually is fantastic because for me, um, as an artist, it's brilliant to see something that's blown up really abstracted, and that takes a little sliver through the original piece. Um, right the way through the olive greens and the yellows and the chocolates and the, the umbers, which is which is just lovely. And then finally, the um, seascape. So again, I was saying about the um, seasonless fashion. This, you know, you've got the blacks, which make it sort of quite nice for autumn wear, um, wearing with black or navy. But then just fabulous in the summer as well, over a sort of white t-shirt. And um, in fact, I know on the large square, you know, you could easily wear this as a sarong. Yeah. Um, just really lovely. And, and it's big enough to actually sort of break around you. It's <laughs> 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 as well. I know. <laughs> it's great over that lap jumper jeans. Um, and then we've got the... Um, Cashmere blend as well, again. It's a lovely shape. And really chalky colours as well, which just look fabulous. And the little small square, which, as we said, can be um, a head, head scarf um, or necktie, lots of different uses. And uh, finally, the skinny, and again, it's just so looks so different from the others because we go through the different colors just because we've blown the artwork up and we get a total cross section. Yeah. Well, to shell to azure, yeah, yeah, I know. And that is that, and also, we do have oh. Yeah. Worth mentioning as well, just before we go, that actually some of the designs um, we take onto the pouches as well um, with silk tassels. <laughs> um, Tamara and Joy, there's a question. That's the reason I came. You have enough right. time. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> so, uh, how long does it take from a concept to creation? Oh gosh, um, well it takes it takes me quite a long time to create the concept. Um, all all my ideas start with sketching and drawing. And I tend to have a sketchbook of themes, which I share with Joy. Joy will pick out the themes that she thinks work best. Then I start producing little painterly sketches before I decide which plate to use. So either an etching plate when we're using the monotones or relief uh, plates when we're doing something with white coming through. I would say probably, I don't know, six, seven, eight weeks to from, from sketch to creating the, the final pieces and the art prints. 
and then from uh, printing, that's another eight weeks or so. Yeah. So then we will uh, print, first of all, a sample just to see how the colours work and choose the, the specific fabrics that we want to use. Because I know we've said there was silk, but there are different silk qualities, and obviously we've got the um, the, the cashmere modal blend. Um, so we it takes a while, uh, probably about four to six weeks, to create the uh, first sample, and then we have to print. So quite a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we can't hear you. Can't hear you. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, I'll, I'll mute myself so that you know there's no disturbance for you when you're speaking. Um, you can hear me now, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what I was saying was absolutely fascinating. But we also have a couple more questions for you. I, is that okay? Yes. <laughs> okay. We like questions. <laughs> okay. So somebody has asked about uh, what are you doing to make it more eco-conscious because they're absolutely beautiful. Of course, you're talking about the trees and the landscapes. So what uh, steps are you taking to make it more eco to, uh, for your products to be more eco-conscious? Yes. Well, I can chip in. Okay. Okay. So um, several things. And we're constantly re-evaluating that the whole time. So first of all, um, we use our own weavers, meaning that the fabric uh, that we have is cut to specific widths. So that means we avoid excess waste. Any waste, and we're really waste averse, it's one of the things that we're really mm -hmm. pleased about. Um, if we do have any off cuts, and we have had uh, a few little off cuts from the tree silks, or even rejected fabrics or scarves where there have yeah. been flaws in the scarves, yeah. we have actually started to make silk pouches which we are now replacing, um, well, we're replacing these uh, with, with the gift boxes. Um, so, so if you buy one of our scarves, it will come nicely wrapped in uh, one of the silk pouches rather than a gift box. I have to say as well, what's nice about these is you can see that every single one is different, so they truly are off-cuts, which, yeah. which is great. And then you can recycle these, use them for your laundry or, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, we also uh, digitally print. Um, and that is more environmentally considerate. I wouldn't say anything's environmentally friendly by the nature of the fact that you're producing a product, but it's more environmentally considerate because it uses less energy and less water. Um, so it becomes far more efficient in that way. And all our scars are printed with less, less toxic dyes, um, which are also azote-free. I hope that answers go some way anyway to answer the question. And the fabrics we're using, the silk, is a sustainable fabric. Oh, do you want to talk a little bit about the Modal, Modal as well? Modal is um, it's made from a sort of wood, it's a cellulosic fabric which is made from um, uh, bamboo, uh, no, soya, sorry, wood pulp. <laughs> wood pulp, so soya wood pulp, so it is natural and obviously soya is quite a sustainable crop. And mixes really well with the yeah. as well. That's great. Thank you so much. Uh, I have one um, question for myself, actually, being coming from the interiors background. Have you ever thought of doing some interior products? Because I do remember you doing some cushions, if yes. I remember. Yes. And also, uh, when you were showing the cashmere, uh, you know, the cashmere wrap, which is a very translucent, of course, not in cashmere, it would be super expensive but something printing on cotton wool or something. And then that's a beautiful colors, you know, as a curtain, I was just, it was just taking me back to it's summer funny. curtains. It's really funny you should say that actually, because we had a, an exhibition at the end of last year um, at the historic farm and potteries and to display the fabrics or the scarves, we hung them as great big banners. In, in a gallery. In a gallery situation. And we sold quite a few of those with people wanting them for exactly for wall uh, hangings. Yes, yeah, for wall hangings. So actually, I mean, we've had quite a few people asking about that as well. You could actually do space the, the frame so that the scarf actually moves in between the, the, the space elements. And we do do cushions as well, although we don't talk too much about that. That's, so that's um, one of the Moreland cushions, which we printed on a cotton sateen fabric. 
Google Mute. <laughs> awesome. um, yeah, so we have one more last question. I think, can you please, before you go, can you please show how to tie the square scarves? Oh, yes, actually, I did forget to mention this one, which I'm wearing, which is part of our tree collection, which is a square. And um, so for that, how I was wearing that just now, literally uh, fold it in half, corner to corner, and just, I like wearing it like this, and I can just knot it, but you could also just um, wear it almost just like any other scarf like this. It was showing the or you well. can um, also just wear it more as a sort of necktie, mm -hmm. um, using up less space like this. Um, and then, <laughs> Joy's really also, great with scarves. I, I do the other one, Joy, she's <laughs> scarves. <laughs> Obviously the traditional, <laughs> if you're going riding. <laughs> um, but you can also um, do it as a head scarf, uh, a head tie. Um, and lastly, like this as well. Um, <laughs> Go round. <laughs> oh yes, okay. and then also you can do it uh, this way. So I don't have a mirror, so it's not exactly <laughs> going fine. But um, and then tie it at back. So that gives you a few ideas of what to do with a square scarf. Because <laughs> I know people do work that not quite sure what to do with square scarves. So hopefully that's given you some ideas. And. Last final question. I think the questions are pouring in now, obviously, because the, your work is fascinating. Uh, but we have another, uh, you know, program as well to work um, live sessions before that. So do you print the tree design in small one, small size scarves as well? Or is it just the big one? No, we, we, we print, we, we have printed, although we, we're quite limited on stock at the moment, um, a very small kind of pocket handkerchief size as well, um, which looks great tucked in pockets. So at the moment, three sizes with the pocket handkerchiefs, but we haven't got many of those left, which is why we haven't showed them. <laughs> but we are getting some more printed. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, both of you. It was so good to see your work again. I mean, I'm a big fan of your work, and I think you should start something with interior products, uh, curtains. I think they would look wonderful. <laughs> um, good luck for the show, and thank you, everyone, for joining in.